Hello everybody, thank you so much for tuning in today. My name is Jacqueline and in today's video, I will be trying on some of the goodies that I got during the Sephora VIV sale. But before we get started, and if you are new here, do not forget to subscribe to my channel, ring that little notification bell, so you get to know whenever I upload new videos. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I will love for our family to grow. Now, if you're ready to see this try on haul, just keep on watching. Okay, my friends, I'm going to be trying some of the goodies that I bought during the VIV sale. Most of them is going to be first impression. I think there's just like one, maybe two things that I already did a video for of, you know, like a review and try on. But most of these items, I think 99% or 98% are all first impressions. And the first thing that I was really excited to get, I heard um, a lot of people that they really enjoy these Wonder Beauty Nude Illusion Liquid Foundation. And I got it in the shade, where is the shade? <laughs> Okay, I cannot find the shade. Well, let's, oh, here you go, golden medium. So I hope I got the, you know, the right shade. It's so hard to know exactly what shade you are when you're shopping online. But the good thing that I like from Sephora is you get the chance to, they have like a shade finder, so you can put in other foundations that you use and they your shade, so that way you kind of like, it give you like the best match for these foundations. So I like that feature about the website. I'm gonna be applying it. Ooh, okay. I didn't know, but it comes with a, is it a dropper or a duffel applicator? Or oh, a duffel applicator. Okay, I, I'm honest with you. I, I rather have a pump on my foundations. I don't know why they do this about duffel applicators, but it doesn't bother me in the sense of like, oh, you know, bacteria or anything like that because it's kind of the same thing with the concealer. You use a duff replicator most of the times, so I don't mind about it, but I wish it had a bump. Okay, so just reading really quick right here on the back, it says that this is mineral oil, free, paraben-free, um, doesn't have any fragrance, cruelty-free, and is dermatologist tested. And it will be good for about 12 months after opening. So I'm gonna be using my beauty blender to you know, spread the product and apply it. So the shade seems to be okay. I don't know if I apply too much or not. Okay, so the shade that I got, it seems like it's a little bit too orange for my complexion. It's just off for a tiny bit. Not too, too bad, but it's just a little bit off. Now it's very easy to actually spread, so I'm happy about that. And by the way, I'm not using any primer. Usually I don't like to use primers unless I know I'm going to have like, I don't know, like a special occasion going on or that I really, I'm really using like a full coverage foundation that I'm going to need it to be like beautiful intact for the entire day but in most cases i usually like to use uh, light coverage um, to medium coverage at the most foundation so that's why i don't really like to use too many things on my face okay so the finish of this foundation it seems like a very natural finish really pretty it's glowy, but not too glowy. It's more into like the radiant side. Um, it's not covering my freckles right away. I have lots of freckles. So I'm just gonna apply a little bit more on my cheeks. And definitely I'm gonna need to exchange this for another color because it's a little bit off. It may work with uh, with a tan, you know, because this is off by very, very little. But I may need to exchange it because it's pulling a little bit orange and I don't know if this foundation will oxidize or not. So I guess I'm just gonna need to use it throughout the day and see how it works. But the finish is beautiful.
my cheeks are the hardest to cover honestly so I'm just gonna apply a little bit more you have to be careful when taking out a wand you know like try to do it from afar because I just saw some droplets on my table and I'm sure it is you know like a splashing You don't want to get your shirt or your dress dirty, so be careful when you take that wand out of the bottle or the squeezy tube. Seems like a squeezy tube with a duffel applicator. Kind of weird, but that's what it is. And I'm sorry, guys, for my nails. They are not done today. Um, I have been working on a project and. <laughs> You will see, there's another video that I appeared with my nails and it was just crazy. Anyhow, okay, so here's the product that, I think this is, I don't remember if I grab another concealer or not, but this is the only concealer that I remember grabbing during the sale. So I think this is the one from Marc Jacobs, is the Accomplice Concealer in the shade Medium 30. I have already reviewed this concealer, um, gave you my first impressions and, you know, just demo doing the demonstration. I'm going to link it on the cards up here, but I'm going to use it today. So there's going to be, like I said, maybe maybe this will be the only item that I'm going to be reusing, but um, it's good for me because I only try have tried it twice since the time that I um, review these products. So I really want to see how it works and, you know, give it another shot whatnot it is very very emollient like because it's you know super creamy and it's definitely really good for touch-ups um the only thing it's expensive to be honest with you but um it's really nice and i don't think you really even need to set this concealer even though it's creamy it kind of like it stays put well and if it creases just a little it's not a big deal, you can tap it in with your finger. Okay, I'm gonna apply a little bit more. <clears throat> I have really dark circles, so they are not the easiest to correct. Okay, next, another item that I purchased during the sale, and I don't think I put it on um, during my haul. I did a huge mega haul video. I will link it right here too, but um, after that, there was still a sale going on, so I went ahead and bought a few other items. Sorry. Um, I think one of them was this one right here, and then this one right here. I know. I went a little bit wild and uh, <clears throat> spent a little, couple of other hundreds after that video. Not a good, not a, not a good example. <laughs> but I try this, um, it's called the Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder right here. Comes on this container. I bought it last year when it first came out. And for some reason, I didn't like it. I don't know if maybe I wasn't applying it correctly. I honestly do not know. But it wasn't something that I was excited for. Um, and I ended up returning it. But then I heard so many people talking about it again that I thought, you know, maybe I should give it just another chance and, you know, see, see how it works. Alrighty, so it comes like this. It's so pretty. I really, really love the packaging. I'm gonna take this out. I have the H for Hourglass. I love when it's all branded, but it's not overwhelming. You know, it's just like very elegant still. You see the H right there for the sifter. So, and then the top, the, the inside part of the lid is made in a way that it just kind of like retains the product from going everywhere. I mean, I think, you know, again, so thoughtful. Just really like that. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use my Hourglass um, double-ended brush. This brush came, I think it was with this powder actually. So I'm just gonna set my concealer I'm 
I'm gonna make sure that it's not creasing at all before I set it. And I'm gonna also set my eyelids. And I'm just tapping a little so I make sure that there's no creasing before I go for setting the concealer. It's a very lightweight um, setting powder. Again, last year, I don't know, I was also living in another area. I just moved back where I used to live, and on that other area, it's very dried. Um, it's by the mountain, and you know, sometimes you have a certain type of skin, but then your skin reacts differently with the weather conditions, and maybe that's why they don't like it. I don't know. Maybe it was really drying, and it felt like every powder was so dry because literally last year I was trying so many powders and believe me most of them they were they was them back to the store okay so looking to the foundation it is acting really good on my skin for not being sad it's just creasing just a dash right here on my nose but very very little I really love the coverage and the very healthy glow that you get from it because it's real it's a really healthy glow let me tell you that another powder that i pick up during the sale is this new jouet soft focus hydrate setting powder in the shade light clear and i love jouet packaging it really looks more luxury and the price is in the mid range which i really appreciate because it's just so beautiful packaging good products but without paying the, you know, the hefty tag. Now, the only thing is the foundation didn't work for me, neither the concealer. I know a lot of people rave about the concealer, but I don't know, maybe if I got the wrong shape, they didn't work for me, but I like other products by Jouet, like their blushes. Oh my gosh, there, there's many. But anyhow, look how beautiful it looks. Like all that imprint, it reminds me like, you know, like a Louis Vuitton type of, um, imprint or like even a a gucci it's just it's just so pretty <laughs> it's just so pretty but it will go away after i put my my brush in it <laughs> i'm gonna set just this side of my of my face where i'm gonna apply powder and maybe right here in the middle of my cheeks see if it will diminish and give that soft focus to that area <clears throat> And I'm going to be using the same brush, but I'm going to use the larger side of the brush. Okay, so the powder, it does have a soft focus effect. And it, it's modifying, but not modifying to the point of cakey. I'm gonna put a little bit right here where I'm gonna put my bronzer and a little bit on my chin, on my jawline. There you go. Yeah, so it's a very lightweight powder, and yes, it does have a very soft focus finish. It helped with my pores to kind of like camouflage them uh, so I, I'm impressed this is a nice powder so far I like it let's see how it works throughout the day another item that I got during the sale is this hourglass radiant bronze light um, bronzer see this one right here this is the first time that I tried this shade right here so I'm excited to try it okay so I will be using this um, Sonia G face pro brush Oh, it's so pretty. Yay. And this brush right here, if you have the opportunity to invest on brushes, 
I think that's the most important part when you are doing makeup. Sometimes when you don't like a product, it is because the tools that you're using. Brushes are super important. So if you're not a person that, you know, like collects or likes to purchase too much makeup, I will say, you know, invest on your brushes. The brushes will give you such a huge difference on the application of your products, you know, that it will, it just makes a world of difference. Now this brush right here, I didn't get it through um, Sephora. They sell it at Beautylish. That's the only place that you can get Sonia G brushes. Which I love Beauty Leash, by the way. I don't know if you're familiar with the store. In fact, the way that I started my channel, I did um, my unboxing for my Beauty Leash Lucky Bag um, for these 2019. And um, yeah, I just love that store. The way that they package everything with so much care. But uh, that's where you can get these Sonia G brushes. Okay. I love this bronzer. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. I'm taking my bronzer a little bit down here because the foundation, like I said, is just a dash darker than my skin tone. Like maybe just one tone darker. So just so it kind of like blends in. And I have a little bit more color right here on my shoulder. So should be fine. <laughs> Next thing that I grabbed during the sale is this Jouer blush jewel in rose gold look at that it's just so pretty i love the color so basically these duos i own another duo from jouet it comes with a matte finish that it still has some glow shimmer without sparkles in it and then it comes with another one that is actually more shimmery oh my gosh i just love jouet brushes they are just Jewel brushes. No, <laughs> I love jewel blushes. They are so so good. Um, the only one that I, I skip on it is the one that has a six pan. I just didn't. I don't know. I was just not convinced about it. So forget about it. All right. So I'm gonna start with. I think I'm gonna go with this color, the darker color in the palette, and it picks up quite a bit. I'm just going to put it a little bit closer for you so you can take a look at the color. <clears throat> Ooh, this is so beautiful. Pretty, pretty. I like it a lot. I do like it. And yes, I put blush right here on this side of my temple. I just kind of, the, the way that I apply blush, honestly, I like to see it on the areas that if I get a sunburn, I will see the, the redness there. That's kind of like why I think about blush, that sometimes, you know, you only put it right here and it's not that it's not enough, but you know, you can just play around a little and see how you like it. Okay, I'm gonna go with a lighter shade now. And I'm just gonna put it a little bit on the front on my cheeks. And the lighter shade is kind of like the one that is more matte, but it's not matte, it has a glow to it, which is so, so pretty. Next item that I got from the sale, and again, this was an impulsive buy. I think it was the last day of the sale. I was at Sephora, my local Sephora, and I was like, I want to get this and this and this and this and that. And I'm like, okay, I'm buying too much. Anyhow, is this Becca, Chloe, and Malika palette. I own the Chloe palette, the one that, that is gold uh, on the other package. And then I wanted to try the, the silver one, the one that is made by Malika. And the reason why is because I have light to medium skin tone, summer is coming, I'm gonna be, be getting a little bit more tan or so I hope, depending on how much I go out. So I was thinking, you know, why not? Let's try it. And here you go. This is the beautiful palette. I think it's just so pretty. Both palettes are just so, so beautiful. So I don't know about the highlighter on this one, if it will work right now on my skin. I think it will be okay. It will warm up my skin. Okay. 
So I'm just going to go ahead and just use the highlighter from this palette. Oh yeah, this with a bronze is such a pretty look. It looks glowy, my friends. I actually like it a lot. The next item that I'm going to be using is something that I was eyeing it for so, so long. And I said, you know, come on, just, just don't get it. This is it. It's the Pat McGrath. Um, this is the Mothership palette. And these are the colors that it have inside. It's just so, so beautiful. Now you're going to be like, what the heck you're going to do with it? You're going to go with a warmer look. That's okay. I'm going to make something very simple. I think I want to use um, these shades up here. I'm going to be using the blue shadow, I promise, in another video. We will do something fun about it. But today, I'm going to be going with just something very, very simple. Okay, so the first shade that I'm going to be using is this shade right, right here. Now, this palette, I actually swatch it. And I'm using uh, this Sonia G Crease Pro brush, just in case. It's a very light, light shade. Uh, not warm, leaning more into the cool tone, but not so cool that it will look like, you know, too dark on the skin. using this shade right here, the darker shade with a Sigma E25 brush and I'm just going to deepen it out just a tiny bit, my outer corner right here, it's very very little. I'm going to just put a little bit on the crease. Pat McGrath eyeshadows, they just have really nice pigmentation and they blend really really easy and that's what I love about her eyeshadows so so good now my eyelids the skin on my eyelids they move a lot and oh, why am I saying that? I don't know why I'm saying that I don't know where I'm going with that okay so I think that's all what I want to do there and um, I don't know if I want to use this shade right here or this shade right here for my eyelid. Let's see. This looks pink and the other one is whitish. I don't know if you can take a look right there. What should I do? <laughs> the other one has a little bit of lilac tone and I don't think I'm going for that right now. So I think I'm going to be using just the lighter shade. Yeah, and this right here has kind of like a blue chief to it. So these are dual chromes. So I'm going to go ahead and use this shade right here in the palette. And I'm using the Sonia G Builder Pro brush. get a pencil brush and I'm gonna go with the lighter shade on the palette right here that I was using first and I'm just gonna smoke it out a little bit on my lower lash line I'm gonna go ahead and use the same brush I was using first getting again the same shade right here of eyeshadow. I'm just gonna blend in a little more. Just placing a little bit more of the eyeshadow on the outer corners. Just kind of like diffusing it a little with the um, other darker tone. Okay. I think that's all what I want to do with this eye look. For mascara, I want to try 
one of these mascaras. I got the Sephora Favorites Lash Stash to go. And it basically comes with five different mascaras that you can try. And inside you get a coupon so you can trade in the coupon for a full size mascara. So I think I want to try the Kasha Mascara by um, Hourglass. And I tried it last year. I didn't love it. And sometimes we try some things and we don't like it and then we try it again and we're like, oh yes, we love it. Okay, this mascara gives you length and the way the brush is made, it actually separates your lashes. Kind of like, you know, it combs them through. Okay, so this mascara, it seems to be good for the lower lash lines too. Clumpy up here. Okay, I actually like this mascara. I don't know why I didn't like it last year. I don't know. I may be a little bit cuckoo, but I like this mascara and I like the milk mascara too. Do you have like a favorite mascara? I know the Better Than Sex mascara by Too Faced. It's one mascara that a lot of people love. Uh, I like it. And I'm looking forward to also try this uh, chart one that it comes on this. It's called the Lights Camera Lashes. I'm looking forward to try that one. And there's another one here, Urban Decay Perver Perversion Mascara. Blah, blah, blah. Perversion Mascara. <laughs> eye pencil. So I'm going to be using this 24-7 Urban Decay Eye Pencil in the shade Gold Mine. Now this shade doesn't give a lot of payoff to be honest with you. And I was got I was debating to get uh to put any eye pencil on my waterline because I just have been just had been having like the roughest time with my allergies, like no other. Alright, let's see. What else should we do here? Oh, I know what I want to do. So I have already reviewed this Marc Jacobs um, Worth the Weight Highlighter. I did a full review on this item right here. But I want to put a little bit of this highlighter on my inner corners. That's all what I wanted to do with that. Next, I'm going to go back to this Hourglass Veil. Powder. Okay, so I'm just taking the powder with my Lamer brush and I'm just going to start buffing all over just kind of to bring all the products together so there are no like harsh lines anywhere. Okay, I like this powder because actually it's not mattifying it gave a very minimal glow to my skin very satin so it doesn't really mattify my entire skin which i like okay all right and next i want to use this brand new for sally rose gold skin means so many people have been raving about it, so I really want to know what's the deal with this. And it comes with a spray. And um, let me just spray it once first. Oh, fine, Miss. Okay, so here we go. Woo. Okay. A little bit farther away because the mist, although it's fine, kind of shoots at you aggressively. <laughs> Okay, and that brought back the radiance that I needed. Okay, so these, these will bring back the glow, that's for sure. But not in a bad way, it's not greasy. It's just like a really nice glow. Now, another item that I bought on the last day of the sale, right at the store, 
who is calling my name, is this um, Hourglass Unreal High Shine Volumizing Lip Gloss. And the shade that I got is Solar. And look at this packaging. It's so beautiful. Sorry, I don't know why I'm thinking, but it's so beautiful. It has the H right there. Again, the branding, the very luxurious package. I love it. And this shade right here is kind of like a coral shade. It's right there. So it's a gloss and it's supposed to plump. And it has a very delicate mint scent like very very light which i don't like mint scents on my products on my lips um but this one is not this one is not like aggressive now because when something has too much of a minty scent i don't know i feel like i have toothpaste still you know around me and i don't like that I actually like the applicator too. It's very easy to use. Yeah. And honestly, I don't feel an immediate like plumping effect or not even tingling. So let's see how it acts in a few minutes and maybe I can notice if it's actually doing that plumping effect or not. Okay, so let me give you a little bit of first impression right here is the foundation. I really like it. It looks radiant. Uh, it hasn't settled into my pores. It has a very beautiful finish. The color, I was able to make it work, I think. I may need a little bit lighter of a color, but so far, it, I, I really enjoy it. This Hourglass Veil, really pretty veil. I don't know, like I said last year, maybe I was in a drier weather and it looked very cakey on me. But I actually, today, I really like it. It just gives back that glow. It was really good for, actually, I know this is a setting powder, but it's actually really nice for bathing, too. Now, this other powder by Jouer, beautiful, beautiful, uh, beautiful powder. Actually, it blurred my imperfections, my pores right here it actually blur them. So I'm really impressed about this powder. Beautiful product and I'm happy to continue using it. Another product that, I, uh, that I'm really enjoying is this Marc Jacobs um, concealer. It's actually really nice. It's creamy but it's not cakey and it doesn't move either. So it's a really good one. Well, my beauty, uh, my beautiful Padmagraph I will always love her palettes. It's just so easy to apply. It's just beautiful. I'm very, very happy with my Hourglass bronzer. Oh my gosh, beautiful bronzer. Oh, this Jouer Rose Gold Blush Duo. If you get the opportunity to get it, get it. It's just, it gives you this beautiful glow and flush to your skin that is just not overwhelming. It just looks so beautiful. I just love it. Don't forget anything else here. <clears throat> this Becca palette, I mean, I didn't use the whole thing today. I used just a highlighter, and again, I'm a light to medium uh, person, and the highlighter, it's a little bit on the gold side, but it worked on my skin fairly well, so it doesn't look too aggressive. I don't know if you can see it right there. I just put it right here on the bottom. But it's it's just it's enough of a highlighter for me that it will work good mostly right now spring summer months and I'm really looking forward to try the bronzer and the right the rest of the blushes on this palette. This worth away Mar Jacobs um Highlighter, this is just so, so beautiful. Um, it's worth the wait. Yes, you should you should try it. It's beautiful. I have only put it right here on my inner corners, but I have applied it on my review right here. Um, don't go too crazy about it. It's really important to buff it, and it will give you this glass glow, you know, like glass skin. I, that's, what I, that's what I mean. It's just so beautiful. This same powder, oh, 
<clears throat> what I'm saying. This um, setting means beautiful. It brought back to life my skin because after I apply this hourglass, it's not mollifying, but you know, you lose a little bit of the glow from the foundation. This brings it back to life and it's non-greasy. Um, I will suggest spray it a little bit afar because the mist is fine, but the spray shoots at you like really hard. So just be a little bit afar and that will be good. Another thing that I have love, it is the, um, the mascara that I use from Hourglass, this right here. It separated and length my, my lashes. It didn't give them a lot of volume, but it made them really separate and very natural look. And then um, this Hourglass um, lip gloss, this new lip plumper gloss or whatever it's called, Unreal High Shine Volumizing Lip Gloss. I enjoy it very much. I'm not a person that likes, you know, plumping products because sometimes they are painful. This is not painful at all. I just after, you know, I had been talking right here for I don't know how much time, um, I start feeling that plumping effect, but very, very subtle, like no, no pain at all. And it just feels minty, but I don't smell the mint anymore. Like, you know, you just feel like that cooling, kind of like cooling effect. If it's plumping a lot or not, just a little, very minimal. This is not like the buxom ones. It's, you know, a couple tones down, but beautiful product. It's not super sticky at all. So, I mean, lip glosses, they are usually sticky, but this doesn't seem to be super sticky. I hope I'm not forgetting anything else, my friends. But other than that, this is a wrap for this video. I hope you really enjoy it. It was a pleasure to be here and try on these beauties for you and being able to see how they wear my skin. I'm really happy with the makeup look that I created today. I'm ready to rock and roll today and I hope you do the same. Before you leave, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel, ring that little bell. I would love to have you here more often. Thank you so much for those who have already subscribed and are part of my family. We're growing and I feel so, so happy about it. It just fulfills my heart in a different way. I, you know, as I get growing, I may let you know a little bit about my life, but um, this just means, this little space right here means so much to me, and I want to thank you so much for the support. I want to give a little shout out, or big shout out to Tara Lean for being a, such a great supporter. Um, she is a beautiful YouTuber. I'm sure you have checked her channel. I'm sure that a lot of people that have subscribed to my channel now, it is because of Tara. You should really go and check her out if you haven't yet. She's an amazing woman. I It's really hard to make connections here in YouTube. I try to, you know, like um, leave a little bit of uh, comments on other YouTube channels, appreciating their work, but they are, some of them are so big, so busy that it's hard to make connections. And although she has a huge amount of followers, she has been open heart. So I just wanna give a shout out to her um, and say thank you so much, Sarah, if you're watching me. Anyhow, thank you once again for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I would love to have you there. Um, getting used to this social media stuff. So um, this is very exciting for me. Thank you once again for watching. You have a beautiful, wonderful day. Thank you. Bye-bye.